So you're looking to get your next NFT. While crypto is kind of bleeding out, this could be a good time to dollar cost average into your favorite tokens and explore the marketplaces. A lot of these upcoming NFTs are relatively cheap to mint when it comes to the USD price. Behind this, a lot of your favorite projects are on sale as well that have already been out and proven a nice track record. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about a couple of upcoming projects and some undervalued ones as well. Grab your coffee, be sure to sit on back, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and of course, always do your own research and this video is in no way shape perform financial advice i'm just out here looking at jpegs first things first i do want to talk about the market real quick and how nfts are performing on a 24 hour and 30 day schedule coming up first with a 24 hour recap clanosaurus is doing some absolute wonders for the space these things took off like crazy this project minted two days ago for 10 solana a pop at a 10,000 size collection they raised 100,000 solana it comes out to about 1.3 to 1.4 million dollars worth of usd value and there's still isn't a lot around this project and a lot of actual details that fine line what's to come out of it. These are some 3D fully rendered GIF running dinosaurs in the realm of the Solana blockchain and have peaked upwards of a 30 plus Solana floor price. 280,000 volume in the last two days is absolutely insane and Solana NFT volumes at over 300k for the 24 hour cycle. On top of that, Utes, D Gods, and the Tubes all doing wonders in the marketplace. 1.1 million volume at a 200 soul floor price on Tubes. D Gods just touched down on 2 million Solana traded volume at a 300 plus floor price and Utes not being out for that long have already done 1 million volume at a 122 Solana floor price. We are seeing the OG Solana monkey business making a massive comeback and a massive run up during this bear market all the way from a 120 to a 220 floor price in just a matter of like a week, a week and a half. And then one of my personal favorites at the moment being Smiths created by Blocksmith Labs doing an absolute beautiful 80 Solana floor price pushing the art upgrade pushing the new revolutional changes behind their innovation i wouldn't be surprised to see blocksmith labs do a 100 solana push again very very soon jelly rascals looking at a nice 50 solana floor price broke 100k volume and chilling at 115,000 traded volume wouldn't be surprised to see these upwards in the 70s yet again breaking new all-time highs with the release of their gambling casino and their jelly use case hey look one just sold oh he undercutted like crazy teo pilots are going through a scholarship white this program as well built out by dust Labs, so a little bit of a partnership there one thing around teo pilots we have been seeing there is going to be four different factions behind this project and people are saying not to compare teo pilots with teo gen 1 and gen 2 as this should be treated as not a gen 3 but entirely kind of like a new project overall so throughout the factions we have operators enforcers rebels and resistance at the moment i'm a sucker for the rebels yo she hot as fuck i'm just gonna put it out there this is going to be at 12.5k supply it will be airdropped to the oil like i mentioned earlier mint passes will cost 270 scrap and there's only going to be 400 passes out there for sale and the breakdown is going to be airdropped to oil holders 2100 for the mint passes and then 4,628 for public use in the scrap burning. A few things that I have learned is if you do buy a Teo Robotic right now and pay full royalties on it, you do essentially get two free whitelist spots, so two mints for buying one of these. And if you hold a five liter of oil, which were airdropped to the Gen 2 Infant Teos, you do get one free pilot. And if you hold a 10 liter, you will get two pilots airdrop for free. I'm just super excited overall for Teo. I love the ecosystem. I love Tom as a founder. I think they're doing absolute waves in this market. And to see Teo Gen 1 and Gen 2 switch over from scrap, the old token to the new graphite use case, we're gonna see a lot of different products and innovations behind Teo itself and new expansions into the Teo pilots. So I've been looking at Cardano NFTs for quite some time now. And I know this might come as a shock because a lot of people in the Solana community kind of hate on Cardano as a whole. But let me tell you about a couple of fumbles I've seen in my lifetime from not buying into Cardano NFTs. So one of my biggest fumbles was the Ape Society. I was going to buy one or two of these at like 500 Cardano. Cardano at the time was like a dollar to two dollars, which wasn't crazy at all. A nice thousand dollar JPEG, kind of expensive, kind of not, depending on what realm of the side of things you're on. But now they're trading for 8,500 to 10,000 plus Cardano, which is pretty crazy to see. Space Buds, I was going to get at around 1,000 ADA and a little bit less, and now they're at 4,000 plus which another pretty big fumble a nice four to five x 
And then Clay Nation seeing these things at like 500 to 600, now sitting at 4,000, 3,000 ADA. And this blockchain has been around. It's just not that discoverable yet. Like you don't hear a lot about Cardano NFTs unless you're super tight in that community. The main two blockchains that stick out are of course Solana and Ethereum. However, seeing these projects just absolutely take off with big size collections, a ton of fucking volume with high floor prices compared to what they minted at, I feel like there's definitely room for growth in ADA and I feel like a lot of the mints themselves just kind of pop off. Like a lot of these projects are just like stake, community, artwork based. So I've been looking at this project called the Doug Father. Has some pretty cool artwork, has a very simple but effective roadmap, a bunch of traits, and only a 50 ADA mint price. 50 ADA for anyone out there wondering is 15 US dollars, which is very, very cheap. So a 4444 collection built on the Cardano blockchain, offering their Doug token from staking, which can be used for raffles and auctions, and looking to create a launch pad for Cardano NFTs as well. Plus, I think the artwork on these looks pretty fucking dope as well. They're sick wolves, and hey, they're cute, the color palettes are nice, and they just kind of fit the vibe. So the Doug Father is going to be a community liquid staking project built on their artwork and building a launch pad for Cardano NFTs, minting on their own website for 50 ADA, aka $15 at the current time of recording this video, and it will be sometime in December at a cheaper price as well for their OG minters. Currently sitting at 6,200 followers over on their Twitter, and again, like I said, guys, I think the artwork on these things do look quite nice. Let me know what you think down below, of course. Here's another variant of one of the Doug Fathers. And I don't know, I'm just looking through here and I'm seeing a lot of stuff talk about how Cardano is just making moves, how projects are just doing very good volume and taking off. The communities are insane. So I want to dive into it. I want to check out Cardano. I want to see what else there is to explore around that blockchain and that marketplace and what kind of NFTs are actually making moves. So originally, Doug Father was going to be a mint on Solana. However, they moved over to the Cardano blockchain due to the different technology and use cases you can actually have happen throughout the ADA blockchain itself. Stuff like liquid staking and immutable languages. So on top of getting access to their secret club, which is built by the community itself and driven out there through different utilities, such as weekly giveaways and raffles, built on a staking system for their Doug token, where you can also use your Doug Father NFTs and send them out on mission missions, which will reward you in the form of their Doug token, which will be used as their use case and governance token. And throughout this Doug tokenomics, you can actually use this in a reward system in form of arcade tickets that can be used to cash in for favors. So yeah, clean artwork, clean overall, you know, simplistic vibes behind it that just give off that effect of, hey, we can actually do this. Building a launch pad to help out other projects on the Cardano blockchain. And I'm excited to see the execution on this project to see how they perform and how it actually comes to play. Because, yo, Cardano just seems hot right now, and the community does seem rather rapid. Let me know your thoughts down below. But on top of that, I also want to check out just more projects on Cardano. So if you guys have any other suggestions, what might be worth getting into, maybe buy one of these nice dips. I mean, yo, Clay Nation's down 33%. These Mallard orders are down 44%. This could be due to the market, could be due to, you know, Cardano itself or the projects just aren't performing as well because they're not doing anything. But stuff like Space Buds up 120%, these automatic Genesis eggs are up uh, 300% and they're at 400. Wow, these things, whoa, 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 hang on. These things are going by pretty quickly. One sold for six, oh, wow. Just for instance, 4,400 Cardano is $1,300. So something like a Space Bud is a $1,300 JPEG and it's based around community and artwork. The last thing I do want to do for this video is just find some other early alpha Cardano projects that are actually launching on the jpeg.store launchpad itself. What I'm going to do here is quite simply just click ones I think look semi-decent and then kind of dive into them a little bit and see what they have to offer just to give you guys a little bit more variety of what we see on a bigger launchpad. Seems that the Melting Moon Boys have already minted out. They've already done 1.8 million in volume and they're at almost a 188 floor. When I first saw these, I thought they looked pretty cool. Artwork seemed semi-decent, 5% royalty, and when it comes to a 180 floor, it's literally 30 bucks. Another one I did see was Reaver Empire. These are at a 20 ADA floor price with 15K volume. Didn't do as well as the other one we just looked at. 8-bit uh, looking cyborgs, arcade, 8-bit styled, pixelated. They look pretty cool. Now that I'm diving into the actual marketplace, they all look kind of similar. Fully moving animated loop gif uh, one of one art direction behind these darker looking horror vibe, which I really fuck with. 
So it seems this project is working on bridging the gap between one of one art and PFPs at the same time, evolving collectible and tangible Cardano NFT project that is purely based on artwork. So they got a 480 floor price or $142. Next up, we have the Scruffies. I saw these out there. They looked like uh, your, your doodles, thick lined, cutesy, cuddly artwork. And they're sitting at like a $3 floor price. Uh, they didn't do so hot. 62K volume is still pretty fucking big, but do the owner to item supply is like 10%. This number here and here just isn't my cup of tea. It, yeah. OBA Genesis, 6.3K volume, 43 floor price. Oh, it's only a 340 collection. Maybe it didn't mint out. Maybe it didn't mint out and they just put 340 because 346 is a very weird number to have out there. All right, here we go. We actually have a project that is still minting live. Live, no end. 8880A. That's kind of weird to say. Uh, mint price. The floor price is currently at 45, though. Half of what the mint is going for, and there's only 713 items out there. Not a huge fan of this UI interface. It's not the best. Again, Cardano still making moves and it's still relatively new to most people. But yo, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. More live streams, more videos on the way. Have a great day. Peace out.